As a kid, I always wanted to sleep inside a tree house, but my parents thought it was too dangerous. And today we're gonna find out if they were right, because I'm staying at three different tree houses with some interesting reviews. I'm in Guyonville, a small town here in France. And you're probably wondering, Chris, that looks like an amazing tree house. I want to stay there. Well, that's what I thought too, until I read this review. A leak in the ceiling camouflaged by a rain screen, no mood lights, only a large dirty standing light bulb, exposed cables, a garbage bag in a seal as a cabinet, the dry toilet exists, and so on. I had no idea what that dry toilet common thing was about until I read Gerald's review. Very quiet and beautiful place. The cabins are really beautiful and well made, but the problem is elsewhere. A toilet in the cabin that thought was dry, but no, there was a simple garbage bag. So doing these needs in a garbage bag is really not very hygienic. So that means I have to do everything in a garbage? Great concept, but a few hiccups about cleanliness. The bathroom is outdated and dirty and the sheets have not been changed. We had gum under a pillow. Now that's exactly why I always bring my own pillow. And I also brought a sleeping bag. Let's go inside. This is actually a lot higher than I thought. All right, here we go. Oh, damn. The shape of this tree house is so cool. And there is even some sort of basement right here. <laughs> oh, check that out. A little heater to keep us warm. Check out these little chairs and this mini table. <laughs> I hardly fit in here. But from down here, you do have a little bit of a view outside. Now, Romain was definitely right about the bad lighting here. So luckily, I came prepared. Let's go up to the bedroom right here. The bed is very soft, very comfy. But we're gonna find out if there's gum under the pillow. That one is clean. Oh, nothing there either, guys. This looks very clean. It looks all pretty decent, especially for the amount of money that I paid. And I think it's safe to say that Adeline's accusation is busted. I think I have found Gerald's main concern though. The dry toilet. All right, yeah, there is a garbage bag in there, which isn't super hygienic, but at least there's a Nemo there. But I am gonna stick up for the owners in this situation because there is something that Gerald forgot to mention to you guys. There is a toilet and a shower literally five minutes away from the tree house. This is just like camping, but then in a tree house with an amazing view. But the best thing about this video is that tree house number two and three are a lot more luxurious. Another accusation from Romain is that there's a leak in the ceiling. But I don't see anything like that. So far, I am loving this place. And the owners even offered to make me dinner. Amazing, that looks great. <laughs> okay, this is actually heavier than I thought it was. <sighs> I could have just walked down. Yes! <laughs> this is great! I got a basket with food! We got some French bread, some wine, and all sorts of other stuff. This is so cool! Alright, romantic dinner for one. We got some soup. It was kind of funny to pour it out of a thermal bottle, but at least it's still warm. In case you didn't notice, I've decided to wear my sleeping bag since it's pretty cold. It might not have been my smartest idea to record this video mid-January. But hey, um, it, is, it is cozy, I'll say that. Yeah, okay, let's maybe add a bunch of macaron, which is a very French thing. I have actually read a couple of reviews about the food and they were kind of right because this is not really French food. It's not that great, especially because I think this massive sausage thing is German. Like this, how is this French? Oh, that smells pretty bad. I can't lie. I really hope the food in the more expensive tree houses is going to be better. And I don't even know what this is, but... The owner did give me some candles, which is kind of wild since this is a tree house, but if that's safe, all right. And he also gave me these breads and genuinely just listen to this. That sounds good, right? Well, let me tell you, it, it feels like, like I'm breaking a brick right now. This is so hard. This is not a real French baguette. 
this thing needs to be at least like four days old. Like, what is this? But we are in France, so there's not much they can possibly do wrong when it comes to red wine. Yeah, no, this is this is not red wine. What is this? Look, this is super light. This is sweet red wine. When I asked for some red wine, I envisioned a nice Merlot or something, a Pinot Grigio or whatever, like something a bit better than this. Now I also got this chocolate mousse, I think it is. All right, that's mustard. I thought that was dessert. Okay, um, no dessert guys, but I am excited for sunrise. No. That was an interesting night. I kept on hearing noises outside, probably animals or leaves and the wind, which made me a little bit paranoia. But it was kind of fun, except for the fact that it was really cold. The heater thing is making so much noise that I can't sleep. But if I turn it off, then it's too cold to sleep. Here we go again for breakfast. <laughs> definitely makes up for the bad food last night and it was just really cool to sleep inside such a funny shaped tree house some more bread which is basically a brick a little croissant some coffee a bit of jam and some spreadable chocolate let's dive in never mind that is no longer spreadable <laughs> it is completely frozen unfortunately the breakfast isn't much better than the dinner let's head to the second tree house I'm now in Carignan, and this treehouse is quite literally in the backyard of someone's house. This town is a little bit more up north in France, which also explains the first review. Unfortunately, we had bad weather for the whole weekend, but with games, champagne, and good rain gear, you can have a great time for yourself. Now that is still relatively positive. Unlike Orfe, Orfe, or or I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But her review wasn't great. A bit of a shame for the bath water because it's not possible to fill up the pretty bathtub. And the smell of oil from the small heating at the beginning, which takes a little nose. Now that's a weird way of saying that something stinks. And yes, you heard that right. There is a bath. Oh, that is so cold. Oh. But all comments, and I mean literally every single one of them, talks about something that happens during breakfast. Let's go in. Check this out guys. Nice little table with chairs, some more plants, and check out the detail in there. The way the owner got around this. Wow, this is very impressive. Now he did ask me to get rid of my shoes before going in. Oh god, oh god, oh that's wet. Okay, I got one wet sock right now. <laughs> that's great. Oh wow. This is a lot cozier than the first tree house. A table, a microwave, a little two-seat bench, still some Christmas decorations, fridge, a coffee machine, I need that. Oh, even some stuff for spices. Little toilet with actual water in there. I'm not even used to toilets with running water anymore after the past 24 hours. Unfortunately, Orfe's review was right because the owner told me that I can't fill up the bath higher than probably this. So her review is valid. But I can still shop. Oh god, no, no, oh, there's still water in there. I wanted to do a funny bit of me, like I can still shower and then not get wet. And now I am wet. But at least as May's review is busted because it is beautiful out here. Let's check out this landscape. The sun is out right there. Beautiful trees that are super high up here. Now, what I will say is that it was storming pretty heavily as I was driving here. But hey, I'm not complaining right now. This place has passed the level tree house and has upgraded itself to tree mansion. You have to admit that Orfe was also right about this heater because it does smell a little bit toxic or like gas, just, just a little bit strange. But besides that, this tree mansion is fantastic. Oh. This bed is so much more comfy than the one I slept in last night. Now you're probably wondering, Chris, is this host also gonna serve you some sausage with mustard? Well, <laughs> I didn't wanna risk that, so I dropped by the holy supermarket of all supermarkets here in France. My parents would always go here when I was little because they had so many different foods there. Now this is definitely a French thing to do, especially with the cheese, but it is not a very nutritious meal. So I decided to get back to the supermarket and get this beauty. <laughs> That is a 
huge, huge, huge chicken right here. At least I'm gonna get some protein in. I mean, this is a great meal, I think, for now. Obviously not as good as the ones I usually have at different restaurants. But tomorrow morning, something special should happen. Here it is, the best treehouse breakfast imaginable. Literally, all the reviews were super positive about this. Daniel, the idea of breakfast is excellent. He delivers it in a basket without disturbing. Alize, the place is quiet and calm and the housing is well arranged and heated. Great breakfast. Ashley, breakfast is delivered every morning and is very tasty. Adrian, positive point for the breakfast brought in the morning. I got a little pain au chocolat, a massive baguette that I'm definitely gonna take with me on the road, some orange juice because I gotta get some vitamins in this trip, and obviously some jam. Also, for anyone wondering, the green sweater is for sleeping and breakfast, and the white sweater is for looking nice and traveling. First bite of the pain au chocolat. That's what it's supposed to taste like. At least this baguette is not trying to break my teeth. This is so much better. In general, I must say this treehouse is just amazing. I highly recommend anyone to stay here. I love the fact that it's actually in someone's backyard. The bed slept very nice. Absolutely amazing experience. Five out of five stars. I'm gonna try to clean myself up a little bit in this tiny bathtub like I hardly fit in here. Now, obviously at its core, this channel is all about traveling. So there is one place I want to show you guys before heading to the last tree house. Welcome to saint die de vosges This place is only 10 minutes away from the tree house and I just felt a little bit weird not showing you guys at least some culture here in France. This building behind me is called Tour de la Liberté, which means the Freedom Tower. And it basically symbolizes a white bird. And the meaning behind that is that all the people in the world, no matter people's religion or their beliefs, actually want freedom and with everything that is going on in the world right now i definitely think that's an important thing to keep in mind and now it's time to have some french classic food all right no that sucks oh my god <laughs> I was really hoping for some nice French food right now. All right, uh, let's see if this boulangerie is decent. <laughs> Apparently all kitchens close around two here in France and then they reopen around seven. But I now have a little quiche Lorraine, which is basically a cake with ham, bacon, eggs and cheese and a tuna sandwich. Mm. That's a good quiche, but I think it's finally time to the final tree house. Aesthetically, this one is definitely the most beautiful so far, but it is also the most expensive. $285.68. Yeah, I know, that is very expensive. And according to Alexandra, you do not get your money's worth. No comfort, even if you don't expect miracles in a cabin. At 321 euros per night, we expect a minimum of comfort. No soap in a bathroom, no kitchenette, and only a microwave. Uh, at least I've ate less than her. We are very disappointed with our stay. A very unpleasant welcome by the host's father, an unheated cabin when we arrived in the middle of winter, and a lot of time spent trying to figure out how to get it started. Once started, we realized it made the sound of a hair dryer. No soap. That doesn't sound very promising. <laughs> I should have brought my own soap, I think. But I got an issue that's even worse. I can't even get in. The hosts are not responding to me. Hi, I am supposed to spend the night at the cabin, but there is no one here. This is my third time calling and I have no idea how to get in. Please call me back. Thank you, I appreciate it. So yeah, that uh, is not great. I think I'm just gonna wait inside my car until someone shows up, I think. All right, the owner actually just messaged me saying that he has someone here at the property who should come and give me the key. But then a very nice lady over there, I'm not gonna film her, it's a bit rude, told me that I can just give it a shot, that it's open, the cabin. So we're gonna find out. But I've been sitting in my car for like 30 minutes now. So it's definitely time to check out this cabin. Oh, check out that view though. And I also just came to the realization that there's two cabins. I thought it was one. The photo on Airbnb is a little bit misleading in my opinion. A big one for like eight people and a smaller one for two to four, which is mine. Okay, wait, oh, oh, is it? Yes, okay, great. It is open, guys. Damn, I feel like I'm in the Hobbit right now. Lord of the Rings type of stuff. Now where is the light switch? I think this should be it. No, wait. 
Oh! <laughs> Time for a treehouse tour. Couch, dining table, toilet, bathroom, shower, stairs to the bedroom, the bed, which isn't super comfy. You guys can hear that, right? That's not good, I think. <laughs> There are a couple concerns about this place. First being that it's too expensive. And I agree. I only paid $124.20 for the previous treehouse, which was a lot better in my opinion. Another being that there's no soap. And I can confirm, indeed, no soap. Other people also claim that the cabin isn't heated during winter, which I can confirm, like, I think there should be heating somewhere, but I don't know how to turn it on since there wasn't even a host to welcome me here. And that person hasn't even showed up. It's been over an hour now. So yeah, that is not looking very good, to be honest. And the last one, no glasses or cutlery. And I can confirm that as well. Like there are only these books right here and a couple boats. Now what I will say is that the location of the cabin and the view is pretty cool. Like if you go outside, you are greeted with this beautiful view. And let's be honest, this cabin looks really sick. Like the shape of it, everything about it is cool. All right, $285 a night but hopefully the bed sleeps well. Ugh. It did not. This mattress is just way too thin and it felt like I was sleeping on wood. But I did end up getting a really nice French meal that I was looking forward to in a city here. Now, we'll be honest, a massive plus is that the shower is pretty big here. And the water is very hot, so I do like that. That, that is great, though. And I did get some breakfast, a nice croissant, and a baguette. But I think the reviews in general were right. This place is a little bit too expensive for what you get, especially service-wise. So overall, if I had to choose my favorite treehouse, I would say... Number two! <laughs> The treehouse was super cozy. I really enjoyed the bathtub and the breakfast tasted amazing. But something that actually tastes even better is the number one pizza in the world. Go and check that video here right now. Mm -hmm.